Hey, so what's going on guys? We're here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm back with another Carling Kit product. So you can see right here, this is the Carling Kit AI box. So if you have been following the channel, you have seen that I've done a couple of Carling Kit products, even other brands as well, other competitors. And they all basically do the same thing. They give wireless functionality to your existing wired apple carplay or android auto head unit but as for this product this is something different this is something that i actually requested them to send to me so that i can uh, show you guys how this thing works so this of course still does the basic functionality of the other dongles as well so basically it enables wireless android auto and apple carplay on your wired head unit but on this tiguan which i have right here this head unit has wireless function so what i'll be using this box for is for the ai function so what does it mean by ai function basically this is something like a tv box if you have used something like a product from a competitor xiaomi or many other brands they do tv boxes for the home use so this basically makes your existing head unit like a sort of a smart tv so you get something like uh, netflix disney you have a uh, youtube music youtube itself you have a lot of functionality uh like sort of extended so basically becomes like a sort of a entry-level tablet why i say this acts like an entry-level tablet is because this has 16 gb of rom which basically means the storage and 2 gb of ram which is uh, i would say adequate uh, for car use you know but if you're looking for like gaming and stuff of course it's not but basically this is just like a tv box so you do not need like i guess too much ram so i haven't actually tested this out but i've actually checked out the contents of the box to make sure everything's in order so as usual fashion we will actually unbox this and show you what comes in the box and then we will test it out on the tiguan head unit which i have right here all right so let's get through the unboxing really quick so you can see this was actually wrapped in a piece of uh, plastic which i took out just to check the content so of course you have a sleeve then you have the box it's really a simple unboxing it's basically as same as all the other uh, dongles i actually unboxed so here you have a user manual so you can see this is for apple carplay okay and then we have the box itself wrapped in this plastic which i will peel off in a bit and then also they give you two usb cables why because on the box this end is actually usb-c and now the modern cars come with usb-c just like the one here on the tiguan so we will be using this cable right here usb-c to usb-c but on my x50 on the vento you'll be using something like this so it depends on the model of your car but it's great that they give actually two different types of cables so you're well equipped so coming back to the specs of the box this has 2 gb of ram and 16 gb of rom is what i mentioned before it's also running on android 11. all right so let's do the honors of removing the plastic both on the front and the back because the plastic actually blocks the ventilation as you can see right here so actually we do need to remove the plastic so that'll be much better all right so let's plug it into the car and then we will explore the features so now we have the usb-c cable which we will plug in right here and i also forgot to mention this is actually a reset button just in case the thing messes up and then we have led indicators to see whether you're connected as well as a micro sd card slot for your movies and whatnot you know okay so one more thing i do have to mention about this box since it has the tv box functionality basically the android functionality you do need a wi-fi connection you do need an internet connection so which means that either you could hotspot it from your phone or something and then it will actually work just like an android tablet so let's get this plugged in so i'll plug it into the usb-c port right here see t-box mini basic via apple carplay so you just click use apple carplay as it's connecting so now we are actually connected to the, the box so it's configuring the resolution to suit this player itself so it's very nice it actually rebooted just now so now we are booting up to the correct resolution because i did actually try to connect this to my, my x50 uh, with the external dongle so I daisy chain it and yeah it was kind of laggy so i wanted to show you on the player which already has a uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay natively on the head unit itself. Okay, so this is actually the interface as you would see from 
an Android tablet. Because the interface is slightly configured so that it'll be easier for you to navigate around, especially when you're driving and whatnot. Okay, so let's go through the app. So we have the phone Bluetooth. Basically, uh, I don't know why you want to use this. But uh, yeah, the feature is here. So basically, you can connect your phone and take calls and stuff like that from here. Same goes for the music as well. If you click on the car icon, it will bring you back to your car's main interface. So we have settings. As you can see, just like an Android tablet. You can see right here, of course, it's configured to look more user-friendly. So how do we go back? You can see this floating ball right here. You can just click go back. And we are back on home screen initially i was like trying to figure out what was this because it was super transparent here but anyways yes that's what the function is and we have the auto kit app similar to the one on the x50 we do have to have the auto kit app so basically this enables the apple carplay and android auto functionality so you actually once you click on this let me show you you actually can connect to your device so you can see right here we have the apple carplay and android auto icon okay so that's basically self-explanatory you can watch my other videos basically it's the same thing so we also have other apps just like gallery right here of course i do don't have anything right here i don't know what's this oh we have a couple of wallpapers here okay we're going to go back uh, this floating window is kind of uh, finicky i wish there was like a bar something like an android tablet down here but anyways it is what it is we do have the play store which is the full play store so you can see right here, Play Store is loading. Of course, I do not have the Wi-Fi connected yet. I'll show you guys how to connect that in a bit. Okay, so we have YouTube. We have Files. Basically, it's a File Explorer. I'm not sure what File Explorer is this. This looks like ES File Explorer. I'm not really sure. Or it could be like the native Android File Explorer. Probably. I'm not really sure on this. It's been a while since I actually touched an Android device. So we have Music. Basically, this gallery... The files and the music basically it reads off your sd card okay so does this app as well the video app so we have this apps pre-installed so we have disney plus we have netflix and tiktok so you have kids in the car or you do have like screen mirroring to the back screen the headrest monitor or something like that this would be really really useful okay so we have something like the i would say memory manager so you can see you can click to process clear processes and stuff like that so this is the task manager so you can see what i've actually opened so you can clear all and you're done okay so now let me connect to the wi-fi so it's very simple you can see the wi-fi icon here as well as the bluetooth icon so let me click on the wi-fi icon let me get my phone hotspot activated so you can see my personal hotspot so i'm going to activate my personal hotspot click on this so let me see whether you can actually find my phone here okay you can see right here all right so you can see it is connected to my hotspot okay let's explore the apps let's uh, go to the play store first let's see the overall the, i would say it's pretty fluid i would say it's pretty fluid uh, it's pretty responsive as well as you can see from here so this is the first time i'm actually booting up the google play so you can see you need to sign in and stuff like that uh yeah so basically i have to sign in with my google account and then uh, basically you can access all the apps lah. but remember that you only have 16 gigs of storage so you do need to be careful with what you're downloading i wouldn't suggest you to download games or what but i mean who would download games more towards the like media apps maybe soundcloud uh, spotify and stuff like that you can actually download it right into the box itself okay so i have to sign in but i wouldn't be signing in okay let's uh just randomly open um let's see here uh. okay let's open youtube youtube also i bet you need to sign in as well to google services or do we maybe we don't let's try to refresh is it book let's see home oh, okay we don't need to sign in so you can see right here it's of course region based so you can see a lot of malaysian videos okay let's try to search up something on youtube let's see how the keyboard is do we even have a keyboard yes we do Okay, let's search up some uh, copyright free music. Okay, let's search up some no copyright music. I'm not sure why it's not really... Okay, it's a bit of... 
lag right there let's see how the sound quality is okay let's just pick maybe let's just pick a random one let's see so we do have youtube running so this is the ad all right guys so i finally got it working i realized it was my car head unit issue Volkswagen head units are having some sort of bug with the head unit even with uh, android auto and car apple carplay as well it's, it's starting to give a lot of issues and it's not updated till today but anyway it was just the volume control issue so now you can hear pretty good the sound quality is actually pretty good let's see what uh, resolution is on it's 360p i would say it's not bad so let's pick a random song again yeah as you can see advertisement so you can see everything actually works it's, it's very interesting that uh we can actually watch full-blown youtube on the car head unit something we weren't able to do before the ai box something okay guys so this has been a pretty quick tour on how the android box works uh honestly i would say that it is very convenient of course you do need a hotspot or something in your car so i wish i wish that this box could insert um data or sim card we could subscribe something for the box so we can actually run it independently something like what we have in the x50 stock head unit so we could actually just run android apps directly from the head unit itself but anyway it is what it is all right so guys if you're interested in this product i'll definitely leave the link in the description below so you can check this out it's not too expensive i would say i think there are more expensive uh, ai boxes out there but for me for car use this is more than adequate i would say the it's very smooth you still get the functionality of google play store which means you can download apps or maybe even games if you are bored you know you can download simple games not too big ones i'm not sure whether this one you can use the sd card as external storage but i believe you can do it in the settings uh just like any other android tablet so i'm really interested to actually use this uh as my daily dongle so that i can actually see how it performs and probably give you guys a long-term review later on so thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video